Hey guys, this episode we're going to be talking about the generates token for method in Rails 7.1 and how to use it for some cool features like reset your password tokens and magic link authentication without writing any columns and other uh, details to the database. This method is super easy. You just add that to your model. So you say a user generates a token for password reset. You can tell it the expiration. Plus, if you give it a block, this data returned from the block will actually be embedded inside of the token. So if the data changes by the time the token is used, then the token will be considered invalid and it won't look up the user. So this is super cool. When a user resets their password, we will update their password and then the password salt will actually be different. And so then the token that we just sent them will no longer be valid and usable. So we can use this to build magic link authentication and uh, let's go do that. So here I have a brand new Rails 7.1 app. Uh, if we run Rails-V, you'll see we're on 7.1.0 beta one. And we need to build Magic Link Authentication, a user model, of course. So we'll say Rails Generate Model User. Users are gonna have an email. We don't actually need a password if we're going to just do Magic Link Authentication. So we'll even leave that out and not even use has secure password here. But one thing we will need is a way to expire that token. So we're gonna say last sign in at date time is the column that we will update every time a user logs in. That will allow us to expire those old tokens. So let's run Rails DB migrate. And let's also open up the Rails console and create our first user. So we'll say user.create bang email is chris at gorails.com. All right, so we have a user and now we need to open up our editor and start setting some things up. So in order to set this up in our model, we'll say generates token for, um, let's call it magic login. This will expire in 15 minutes or 20 minutes, whatever you wanna do. And we'll have the last sign in at as the value we embed in the token. So this is what we're going to update every time we log in and it will be part of that token generation. So now for your